Hey there, Louis Acapellas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a tip that I use to help me communicate effectively with my team members when I'm collaborating in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now have you ever found yourself in a situation where you want to communicate something through a channel post in a team with a large number of team members? Now perhaps you need to get the attention of a subset of your team members in that channel post. Now you're probably thinking, well, no problem, I can just tag them using the at mention function. And you probably could, and that would probably work if you're trying to tag a small number of people. But what about the situation where you're trying to tag 10 or more individuals, for example? Surely you could start to type out their names and tag them individually, and eventually you would do that. Or maybe you would miss tagging somebody and they would never become aware of that information that you're trying to share. Well, this is where tags in Teams come in handy. A tag in Teams is essentially a label that you can apply to a group of team members to help you classify or categorize them based on their role, project, skill, or whatever other classification is important to you. Once a tag is created, you can use it efficiently to group individuals and tag them with minimal effort in channel posts, and you can even use those tags to initiate group chats with those members. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna start off by looking at how to create and manage tags in a team, then we'll walk through how to use them in channel posts, and lastly, we're going to look at how to use a tag to initiate a group chat. Now let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right, now I want to reiterate an important point about tags, and that is that tags are created in the context of a team. Specifically, that means that tags that you create in a team can only be used in that specific team and not in other teams. Now tags have a dedicated menu where you can go to create and manage your tags. And to get to that menu, what you want to do is you want to navigate to the team that you want to create your tag in, and you want to click on the more options button to the right of the team name, that is these three dots. And here you wanna to scroll to the bottom of this menu and you wanna go ahead and click on the Manage Tags option. Now, if the team doesn't have any tags created in it, this is the menu that you're going to see. Now, to go ahead and create a tag, all you need to do is click on this Create Tag button. Before I do that, I want to highlight an important note about permissions. Now, by default, only team owners have the ability to create and manage tags. Now that is a setting that can be changed and we're going to look at how you can actually change that setting so that both team owners and team members can create and manage tags and we're gonna look at it later in the tutorial. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and click create tag and this is going to bring up the create a new tag menu. Now the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to enter your tag name and you can see here that you're able to include letters, numbers, spaces, emojis, and you can also include special characters if you wanted to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put AP analysts for the accounts payable analysts in my finance department. And the next step here is to go ahead and add a description. Now you don't have to add a description, this is optional. Um, but it is good practice to put in a short description about what this tag is used for as that description is actually going to be visible on that create a tag, manage tag menu that we just saw. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a description that states this tag is to be used for grouping AP analysts and that description again is going to be displayed in the tag menu. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to actually add at least one person into this tag. Now, you'll notice here that I haven't added anybody in and I can't actually go ahead and create this tag. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to start typing the user that I'd like to add into this tag. And you can see here as I start typing, it's going to show me a list of users. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my colleague Diego. And what I'll do is I'll also add myself into this tag. Now, once you've added in all of the users that you want to include in this tag, you wanna go ahead and click on the Create button. 
Now that this tag has been created, you can see here that it appears on the tags menu in this team. And you can see here the name of the tag. You can see the number of members that have been included in this tag. And you can also see the description that we entered for this tag. And again, this is why it is good practice to include a description because it will be visible to everybody who is a member of this team. Uh, and it's useful to just understand what these tags are used for. Now, what you'll also notice is that because I added myself in this tag, um, I am seeing tags assigned to you and the number of one. So again, this is going to show you um, all of the tags that exist in this team, and it will also include those that are assigned to you in this little grouping here as well. All right, now before we actually go ahead and look at how to use a tag in a channel post, I'll quickly show you how you can manage tags. Now managing a tag in Teams includes the following things, adding people to a tag, removing people from a tag, changing the tag name or description, or deleting a tag altogether. Now I've deliberately left the tag menu just to demonstrate how you can get back to it. So again, you want to navigate to the team that you either want to create a tag in or manage tags, and you want to click on the more options button here, which is the three dots to the right of the team name. And there's actually two ways that you can get back into the tag menu. The easiest way is to click on manage tags, and that's going to bring you right back into that tag menu. The other option again from the more options menu is you can actually click on manage team, uh, and that's going to bring you into where you can actually come to configure your settings. Uh, and here you can go ahead and click on tags. Uh, you can see this is a few extra clicks, so it's actually just easiest to go ahead and click manage tags from the more options menu. Now, once you're on the tags menu here, if you want to actually go ahead and edit an existing tag, what you can do is you can either put your cursor over it and click into it, or you can click on the more options button at the very end of that tag row. Now, if I click on this, you can see here I have a few options. I can go ahead and edit this, and if I click on edit, what it's going to do is this is going to bring me back into that edit tag menu, which is similar to the create a tag menu. And if I wanted to change the name or the description, I can go ahead and click on this edit details. And you can see here, I can go ahead and change the name or the description. Um, and you would obviously go ahead and click save if you made a change. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put two at the end of this and click save. And you can see here that that name has been modified. Now, if I wanted to add somebody into this tag, I could just come into this add people field and I could start searching for somebody and add them in. Once I found them in this list, I can go ahead and click add and they're actually going to be added here. Now, if I wanted to remove somebody from this tag, I could just hover over their name and I can click on the more options button indicated by the three dots and I can go ahead and click remove and that's going to remove them. So that's how to actually edit the tag name, description, add, and remove people. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and delete a tag altogether, again, you want to place your cursor over that tag in this menu, and you wanna go ahead and click on the more options button, and you wanna go ahead and click on this delete button, and that's going to delete this tag from the team. Now, the last thing that I'll point out is you also see here, you have the option to create a copy of a tag. Now, when you click on this, what this is going to do is this is going to bring up the create a new tag menu, and it's automatically going to populate the tag name and description based on that tag that you're copying, and it's automatically going to add in the members of the original tag. So this is just like a shortcut to create a new tag, and if you wanted to go ahead and create a new tag based off of a different tag, you can go ahead and just update these fields accordingly. So I'll just go ahead and call this finance team members. And I'll just delete the description and I'll add in one other person here and I'll go ahead and click create. And I was able to create a new tag as a copy of an existing tag and then modify it to meet my needs. All right, now next we're gonna go ahead and look at how to use a tag in a channel post in a team. All right, now once you've created your tags in Teams, then you can go ahead and actually use them when you're creating channel posts. So you can see here, 
I am in the general channel of the finance team that we created our tag in and I've gone ahead and I've created this channel post here. Now to use a tag, it is very simple. All you need to do is type the at symbol in the body of the channel post and this is how you can actually at mention someone to get their attention when you're creating these channel posts. And instead of looking for an individual or typing at team, what you want to do is you want to start typing the name of your tag. And you can see here when I start typing AP, the tag that we created called AP Analyst 2 shows up. Now I can either press tab or just click on this and this is going to add it into the body of this channel post. Now when I go ahead and send this, anybody that was added into this tag is going to get a notification in their activity feed telling them that they've been tagged in this channel post. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press send and you can see here that this post has been created and again you can place your cursor over the tag and it's going to show you the members of this tag. Now what I will do is I have also impersonated my colleague Diego and if I go ahead and click into his activity feed, you can see here it says Luigi mentioned AP Analyst and if I click on that, it's going to bring me right into that channel post. So that is how you can use a tag in a channel post to help you get some specific users' attention in channel post. Now what I'll also call your attention to is a limitation with tags in Teams. Now you'll notice here that I was able to create my channel post and use that tag in a standard or public channel. Now again, standard or public channels in Teams are those that are accessible to all members of a team. Now in contrast, a private channel is a channel in a team that is only accessible to specific users who are added into that channel. And private channels are denoted by the little lock symbol to the right of the team name. Now, if I go ahead and click into this manager channel and I click on new conversation to create a new channel post and I type the at symbol and I start typing AP, what you're going to notice is that I can't actually find the tag that we created, even though I'm still working within that team that the tag was created in. Now, the reason for this is Teams restricts you using tags in private channels because it's possible that members who have been added into a tag may not have been added into or granted access to that private channel. And so that is why you can't actually use tags in private channels. Now it's possible Microsoft revises that in the future, but at the time of recording this tutorial, it's not possible to use tags in private channels. So something to keep in mind in case you're trying to use a tag that you've created in a private channel and it's not showing up as you see here. All right, now the next trick that I'm going to show you when working with tags in Teams is how to actually use a tag to initiate a group chat. Now to do this, what you want to do is click on the chat icon in the navigation bar on the left-hand side of the Teams interface. And next what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on the new chat button. Now this is a pretty cool trick. Uh, it's really just a shortcut to help you spawn a new group chat with some specific members who you've already included in a tag. Now, once you click on that new chat button, the next step is to enter the individuals that you want to include in that chat. And when using tags, all you need to do is start typing the name of the tag. And so if I start typing AP, what you can see here is that tag that we created in the finance team. And if I go ahead and select this, what this is going to do is this is automatically going to add all of the individuals who were included in that tag into the group chat. So this isn't revolutionary, but it is a nice little shortcut to help you create new group chats with some specific users who perhaps you've already categorized in the context of a team. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to view all of the members of a team and the tags that they've been added into. 
Now from this menu, you can also make quick changes to tag assignments and it's a pretty easy way to just add and remove people into the different tags that you've set up. Now to do this, what you want to do is you want to click on the more options button to the right of the team that you are trying to organize or view the tags that have been created in. So I'm gonna click on that more options button. And this time what you want to do is you wanna go ahead and click on manage team and you wanna make sure you land on the members tab. Now this tab essentially is where you can come to see all of the members of a team to add, to remove members. Now what you'll notice here is that this list features several columns and if you look at the fourth column from the left to the right, you'll see here that it says tags. So this is where you can actually come to see all of the members who exist in a team and the tags that they've been assigned. So you can see here that it will display the count of tags that a particular user has been added into. And if you actually click on the little label icon, what you can do here is you can actually just check the tags that you want to add that user to, or you can uncheck tags that they've been assigned and it's going to automatically remove them from that tag. Now, if I go ahead and click apply, it's going to remove Diego from that particular group. So this is a nice, handy way for you to quickly scan through all of your team members uh, to look at what tags they've been added to, to maybe add them into tags or remove them from existing tags. All right, now the last thing that I'll show you in this tutorial is how to change the default settings so that both team owners and team members can create and manage tags in Teams. Now to do that, you want to navigate to the more options button of the team that you want to change that setting in. You want to go ahead and click on that and you want to click on manage team. Next, you want to click on the settings tab. And here you want to scroll right to the bottom of the list and you'll see here this option that says tags. You want to go ahead and click on that. And you can see here this field that says tags are managed by and again by default it is set to only team owners. If you want to permit both team owners and members to be able to create and manage tags in Teams, you want to click on this dropdown and you want to change it to team owners and members. Now, when you do that, again, it means that both team owners and members will be able to create tags, will be able to uh, rename tags, add users into tags, remove users from tags, etc. So that's it. In this tutorial, I walked you through one of my favorite Microsoft Teams tricks, which is tags in Teams. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date in the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobales. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.